Get the latest PEGA CPSA 23V1 Real Questions to Practice for Certified PEGA System Architect, 23 Exam. 1. Which piece of application content do you localize by using a field value rule? A. Labels and drop-down values on a section rule. B. Logos or other images on a harness rule. C. User instructions in a paragraph rule. D. User editable text in a correspondence rule. Answer. A. 2. You want to unit test a rule. To ensure that the rule executes as intended, you need to populate the clipboard with valid data. Which two options allow you to populate the clipboard before testing the rule? Choose two. A. Configure an assertion to define the required data. B. Configure a validate rule to populate the needed data. C. Run a data transform to create the test page. D. Copy data from an existing clipboard page. Answer. CD. 3. You are a low-code developer that is interested in receiving personalized suggestions throughout application development. How do you achieve this in PEGA platform? A. Contact the PEGA Support Center. B. Install a browser plugin. C. Use the Developer Assistant pane. D. Enable PEGA Gen AI features. Answer. C. 4. How do you indicate the progress of a case toward resolution? A. Apply service levels to the assignment steps. B. Design intent-driven user interfaces. C. Update the case status on the appropriate steps. D. Configure a case notes field to capture progress information. Answer. C. 5. Which two statements demonstrate the role of a report? Choose two. A. Reports are used to assess process performance. B. Reports are used to update data in a database. C. Reports are used to select items from a list while working in an assignment. D. Reports are used to source a list of selectable items while working in an assignment. Answer. A. D. 6. Which two items must be provided by the user to add an external data source to a data object? Choose two. A. The authenticating information, if required by the corresponding service. B. A data transform to map the application data model to the connector. C. A simulated data source to test the implementation. D. The Uniform Resource Identifier that identifies the web service. Answer. A. D. 7. A business architect has developed a new process for a case type. To verify that the UI elements collect the expected result, you want to test the process and the fields. Which two configurations? when used together, allow you to record a set of interactions and save the test result to verify process functionality. Choose to A. Create a unit test for the case type. B. Create a scenario test for the case type. C. Add explicit assertions on the UI elements. D. Add explicit assertions on the scenario testing landing page. Answer. A. C.
8. Identify the two requirements that are satisfied by using a data transform. Choose two. A. Display the same data on multiple user views. B. Convert integer data to text data. C. Copy an existing order to a new case. D. Validate the format of a property value. Answer. B. C. 9. You are configuring an application to process travel reservations. The reservation case creates child cases for each booking component, flight, hotel stay, and vehicle rental. How do you update the total cost of the reservation as users update each child case? A. Define a case calculation to update the reservation total with the total of each child case. B. Configure the create case shape to propagate the total cost from each child case to their servation. Create a declare expression to update the reservation total when the cost of each component changes. C. Add the update case shape to the reservation case type to capture changes to each component cost. Answer. B. 10. An order fulfillment case type allows a customer to update user profile information during the order placement stage. The user profile consists of the following three pages. Account ID and password customer contact information a list of open orders with the status of each order. How do you configure the case type to allow customers to update any of the user profile pages at any time during case processing? A. Add an optional process to the case workflow. B. Add a button for each profile page to each assignment. C. Add an alternate stage to the case lifecycle. D. Add a set of optional actions to the case workflow. Answer. D.